I'm here with Dan Werner, Equity Analyst in Chicago. Dan covers the Canadian banks extensively, and he has taken a look at the Q1 numbers. So Dan, give us a rundown. What do the numbers look like this quarter? Well, for first quarter of 2012, the Canadian banks reported pretty solid numbers. Uh, going into the end of 20, 2011, uh, we were seeing compressed net interest margins, as well as lower capital markets revenue due to lower trading revenues. First quarter, we saw that the net interest margins either stabilized or it increased slightly, and capital markets revenues had done much better. Going into the rest of 2012, and then we're expecting the uh, net interest margins to continue to be under pressure as interest rates still remain at very low levels. In terms of the growth of the companies, um, we saw large growth with uh, some with National Bank, uh, kind of single-digit growth with other companies such as CIBC and Scotia, and almost no growth in the Canadian in the Canadians uh, banking with uh, with Bank of Montreal. Overall, it was a pretty solid quarter with increased EPS and increased net, in net income. And is Canadian banking still the primary profit driver? Yes, uh, from from Scotia Bank, which is by far the most international bank, still has 30% of its net income from Canadian banking, to CIBC, which is more than 50% of its net income from Canadian banking. You know, over the last four years, uh, Canadian loan growth has been around 10%, and we're expecting we've been expecting that to slow down as the Canadian consumer becomes more leveraged, and we're starting to see that uh, across the board. Uh, in ter in terms of uh, uh, going forward, uh, we still expect slower loan growth, and um, but we still the, the the loan quality is still very good across the, the across all the banks, and we expect increased net income going forward, although at slower levels. Okay, last question for you: What about the capital markets performance? Capital markets was much better this this quarter, um, as as events in Europe and as, as stabilized. We've seen more liquidity uh, in the system, as well as uh, higher client volumes uh, that was pent up from from fourth quarter into into first quarter, um, much better trading revenues that, that we expected. And uh, going forward for the rest of 2012, I think we expect uh, similar uh, trading revenues and capital markets revenues uh, for the rest of the year. Great. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for having me.